attention. So I um, had a conversation with a client over the weekend and um, she wanted to confront me about something I'd shared with her that hurt her feelings. And, you know, I listened openly and it's not unusual that I would hurt somebody's feelings. I'm not, you know, I'm, and I would own that. But after listening to her, it's like really think that, you know, maybe my approach wasn't the best, but the information, your version to that is your stuff. Many times when we hear something from someone, it is hurtful. It feels like a sting or a kick. Um, but my experience when I was working with a coach and when I was receiving information and when I do receive information still is when I feel that sting, when it feels like it hurts my feelings, it's unfortunately because it's true <laughs> and we don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear the truth. I don't want to know, you know, I don't want a mirror hold, held up to my face. I don't want to look at myself like that. It's um, it can be challenging. However, it is also an awareness. And the second component to the hurt feelings is like, so now I have this awareness. I can either blame the person that gave it to me or I can own it and then I have to do something about it. So there's actually three components. There's having the awareness, having the feeling like, oh my God, she just hurt my feelings or slapped me in the face or held a mirror up to me. And then the second component is now I have this awareness. Um, could it be that I, I don't know, whatever it is. And then the third component is what do I do with this awareness? I was reading this book. I have this book. It's called Your Story is Your Power. And it um, talks about like writing your story. And the, the author describes awareness as um, turning a light on in a very dark room. So if you're in a very dark room, you could spend a whole lot of time, you know, searching the wall, looking for the light switch. And, or you could go right in and find the light switch. And that's usually when that's the stinging sensation. When, you know, you um, are, when somebody presents you with something and it feels like it hurts your feelings or, you're, or you just feel deflated or you're just like, I would rather not know that about myself. Um, so because the thing is, is that once you know it, what are you going to do with it? You know, having an awareness, having the truth um, presented to you in something that doesn't make you feel good, the 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 everything is now back in your in your lap. What are you going to do with it? But it is good because every time I've ever had that happen to me, which is why I recognized it in this client, um, it serves me. It provides me really good information that I can create change with. And um, I can go like, okay, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to do that. What do I do? What do I do in the future? I'm an actualization coach. I help uh, my clients work through those types of situations. If you would like to get some more information from me, you can email me at elizabethpudwell at gmail.com. If you enjoy my videos, um, please subscribe and share. And um, until the next time.